Hi guys, Harry here from the Art Gear Guide. Thanks very much for joining me today. Uh, as you can see by the title and by the sc uh, your screen here, um, I have a, a review today of a mechanical pencil. Now, I know mechanical pencils aren't for everybody. There's some people that love them, some people that don't. So if you're not into mechanical pencils, this may not be for you. But it could still be worthwhile watching because uh, if you've never used one and you're looking to go get into them or maybe try one, I think this will definitely be the pencil that you should start out with. But um, over the last, I should imagine, the last year or so, maybe even longer, Derwent have been working on some new products. And uh, this is just one of the new products that they're introducing to their line. I'll discuss some of the other ones later on down the line. Um, but I've been sent this product, which is the Derwent Mechanical Pencil. It's called the Derwent Precision uh, to review. Now, as always, I just want to make it very clear. Um, Although Derwent have sent this to me, I am still given a full and honest uh, review as I do with all my reviews. Now, any of the companies that contact me, they know that about me. They know that whether I love the product or hate the product or whatever, I'm going to talk about it on the reviews. Whilst always remaining respectful to the company because there's no need to get horrible or nasty about companies just because I personally don't like a product or something like that. Fortunately, I've never actually been in that situation and hopefully never will be, but um, it's just something that I always like my uh, viewers to know because I know that sometimes uh, reviewers are accused of being biased because a company has sent them a product. That's not the case. In actual fact, um, I have found in dealing with a lot of the companies that I've dealt with uh, regarding art and stuff like that, they actually want you guys and people like me that do reviews to be honest with them because they are not interested in creating terrible products. They want to know what needs to be fixed in order for them to fix it maybe later down the line uh, and then come back to you, the customer, with uh, a more suitable product. Um, they're, they're not in the business of trying to pull the wool over anybody's eyes or anything like that. They want to create the best product they can for their customers. That's been my experience dealing with all these companies in the past. Um, I've always made them aware of my stance on doing reviews, how honest I am and stuff like that, and they love it. They're, they're all for it. Uh, and Dermot, they're no exception to that. So anyway, let's get on with this review. Now, Obviously, when I got sent this, I got sent a little bit of marketing information, you know, stuff like the price and when it's going to be released, that type of thing and all the rest of it. And when I found out the pricing for this, I was really blown away. Um, when I also found out the price and I thought to myself, right, maybe this might be uh, some sort of like toe dipping exercise for Durban. They may not be sure about bringing out a mechanical pencil. And so they're going to come out with some sort of cheap plastic uh, mechanical pencil, gauge how it goes down with customers and then work on that. But I was totally wrong. I'll go through the review with you now and show you all the ins and outs about this pencil and why I think it is a crazy price point for this pencil to be at. I'm going to keep referring to it as a price point because I want to tell you the price at the end of the video. So as you can see here first of all it comes in this beautiful packaging. Now I have opened it, I have had it out but I just wanted to show you the packaging because I do think it's um, relevant to doing this review. Uh, especially whenever you are comparing this pencil to other like-for-like like price point pencils on the market. As you can see here, it comes in this beautiful blister pack. You've got this gorgeous artwork up at the top. Unfortunately, I'm not 100% sure who the artist is that has created this artwork. Um, I will try and find out and put it up on either in the description or um, over on my written review. Uh, I should have I should have tried to find that out beforehand. Sorry, I apologize for that, but it's beautiful artwork in any case, and it kind of illustrates perfectly what a mechanical pencil is really good for. Uh, one of the aspects that a mechanical pencil is good for. Um, also down at the bottom here, you can see that you get there are three spare erasers, and you also have this plastic case in here which houses fifteen um, spare uh, graphite cores. Now also you can see here that this is a uh, 0.5mm pencil. Uh, the other pencil that Derwent do is 0.7mm so they have two types. Uh, the, both the pencils are exactly the same, just different core sizes, barrel sizes, that type of thing. So let's open this and have a look inside and we'll find out what the pencil is like and everything like that. I'll take everything out of here. 
and move the packaging off to the side. Okay, so like I said to you, when I first heard about this, I kind of thought, you know, Dermot is just going to be introducing some sort of plastic pencil just to keep people happy, to gauge the responses, but that is definitely not the case. The barrel is made of this beautiful polished black metal. Um, it's not quite round. I had to actually look this up. Uh, a 16 sided shape because it counted 16. I think it was 16, 16 or 18. Anyway, I think it's hex, hexadecagon. Um, but it, it, it is beautiful. It holds well in your hand. There's a really nice weight to it. When you hold this pencil in your hand, you know automatically this is not a cheap material that has been used on this pencil. Uh, down the side here you have the Derman Precision, which is what they're calling this pencil, obviously because mechanical pencils notoriously uh, offer fantastic precision detailed work. Further on down here you have the core size, so in this case this is 0.5mm. Um, and then you have this uh, lapel clip for whenever you put your pencil into your pocket or something like that. Uh, and this is really, it's really sturdy and it's got a good... Um, resistance on it as well because sometimes you find in the cheaper type mechanical pencils that this type of thing spins around it's not that great at actually holding the pencil on to anything so uh, that's a plus. Uh, also here you have the uh, button which is metal again it's not plastic uh, for pushing the the uh, core out. Now you, when you take this off you have your eraser which I've already showed you, you get three off spurs, uh, so that's four, including the one that's already on the pencil. I'll come back to this side of the pencil in a second, uh, but for now we're going to go off to the nib, which this is another part of this pencil that really should not keep it in this price point. So, uh, again, you've got a, a metal nib here, and um, it's got a, a couple of little ridges there, which is our just decorative it makes it look uh, aesthetically pleasing when you press the um, the the push button at the back end the first thing that comes out it appears is this kind of like this metal sheath now a lot of mechanical pencil users will tell you that on the mechanical pencils the cheaper ones this does not it's not retractable so in other words it's exposed pretty much all of the time uh, and so whenever you're putting this in and out of pockets and that type of thing, it either creates a hold, snags, material, that type of thing. It's all in all a nuisance. Uh, so it'll create like a hole or something like that in your pocket. Or worse, it'll just snap off, which then renders the pencil useless. So that's with the first push, the sheath comes out. Then with the next one after that, you have your graphite. Now, in terms of the graphite, the two graphite that the Dermont are releasing this pencil with are HB and 2B. So this pencil here at the minute has a 2B, or sorry, uh, HB, but you can get uh, a 2B lead for it as well. Now, I don't know whether later down the line Dermont are going to come out with a, a 2H and a 4H or, you know, uh, a 4B or whatever. It's possibly something that they'll look into later on down the line, but for now... The two cores that they're releasing this pencil with is a HB and a 2B, which I think are probably two of the most popular cores that you would use uh, on it with any pencil. So that's the pencil. Like I say, um, you get these three little erasers that come with it as well. So four erasers in total. And then you have this plastic casing with 15 uh, HB LEDs already in here. So these normally cost about £2.50, £3, in and around that mark, three or four pounds, depending on the manufacturer. Uh, whenever you go to buy a mechanical pencil and you buy extra leads for it, they normally come in these plastic things, but you don't normally get them with the pencil when you buy it first time round. Uh, certainly not pencils in this price point. If you want to get a, uh, one of the, the leads out, you just simply click this down, it opens a, a hole at the top there, and then you just tip your, your leads out. Now obviously you've got to be very careful because these leads are very um, they're very very tiny, very thin, very easy to snap and break and that type of thing so, which is why these little cases are essential. You can't just take a handful of these and bung them into a pencil case or anything like that. So you just drop them back in there and that's it. Now 
In terms of replacing the, the, the core, um, you remove the, the, the silver cap at the top, you remove the eraser, you just take that out, and then you have a little hole in the center of the barrel. Now, currently, I have just one spare lead in there. You can obviously put a few in there. And basically what happens from this point on, when you are using your pencil, okay, so I have the I've got to be very careful. I have the first lead out. And then because I have another one in the center of the barrel, I just keep clicking and it will automatically feed through. Now, like I say, it doesn't matter whether you have three or four leads in there. When one runs out, you'll get that clicking um, and nothing will come through for about three clicks. And then the new lead will just automatically feed through. So that's a fantastic feature as well. So when you have, when you get this, you can dump a couple of them into your pencil. So when you're out and about, you're not going to run out of a, a lead or anything like that, um, which I think is fantastic. So on to the price point. Now, bear in mind everything I've just said. You know, this is a, a metal, um, uh, a metal barrel. Um, all the things that you get in this pack, and even the packaging itself. Uh, this isn't a pencil that's just going to come loose or anything like that if you're ordering it online. £7.99. So that's the UK price for it. £7.99. Now if you want to, w once you run out of all the stuff that you have there, if you go out and buy a new one of these, uh, whether it's the 8B or the 2B, doesn't matter, whether it's 0 0.5 or the 0 0.7, all the same price. For a new one of these, and the when these come in packets, they come with uh, three spur erasers as well. So for 15 leads and three spur erasers, um, that is £3.50, which I think is absolutely fantastic. That's kind of the average price for spur leads in this type of pack or protection. Doesn't matter where you're going. So that's a, a really good price. But all in all, for the entirety of this package, um, £7.99, I think it's crazy. Now, Nothing is ever too low for the consumer. But I just don't understand how Derwent are going to make money on this because it is a beautiful pencil. Uh, it's well made, very stylish. Everything that you get with it, £7.99. I think this is a fantastic product that Derwent have once again um, handed out to their, um, to their customers. Um, and I think this is going to be a great hit, especially with those that are mechanical pencil lovers and even for those that have not used a mechanical pencil or never considered it in their artwork if you are considering it because there are some fantastic graphite artists on the market you know on youtube and stuff like that like smoothie 77 good friend of mine here on youtube you go and watch his videos his his graphite work is fantastic and he uses mechanical pencils as well in that uh, i'll put a link down to his videos you can go across and see some of his work and you'll see what he uses the graphic or the, the mechanical pencils for. So in terms of the release date, this pencil will be available round about the end of June. There's not a specific date. It's not like, you know, the 30th of June or anything like that. It just says here in the marketing that it'll be available round the end of June. So you've only got another couple of weeks to wait to get your hands on one of these, but I definitely think it's going to be worth the wait. Um, I know there's nothing worse than being told about a new product and you are chomping the bits to get it and you can't get it, but you don't have long to wait. So if um, if you've got to save up about it, put a bit of money aside for yourself for the end of the month, uh, I think you're going to be incredibly pleased with this product when and if you order it. Um, and like I said, if you're looking to get into mechanical pencils, I think this is definitely going to be a fantastic place to start. Anyway, guys, that's my review of the Derwent New Precision mechanical pencil thank you so much for joining me on this video just a little side note side note before i go previous videos of mine have had this kind of like purple screen flashing up on uh when i put my still images up 
It took me a long time to work out what that problem was, but I finally found out what it was, and it's got to do with the resolution of the images that I've been taking. I take the images in a raw format so I can put them on the computer and clarify them, make them really clear and stuff like that, and then put them up on my videos. But the resolution of that has always been very, very high. Now, I don't know whether it's got something to do with Final Cut Pro or whether it's got something to do with the conversion rate from there to YouTube. I don't know what it is, but I just know that when I've reduced the resolution of the images down to half, I don't get that screen. So going forward, you're not going to get that anymore. Um, so I apologize for that in the past, but it's not something that I've tried to put in there. I have worked so hard to try and finally find out what the problem is, and now I've done it. Um, also, so th you know, thank you very much for persevering with that, guys, uh, and I do apologize for any inconvenience it's caused. Also, because I can't put the really high resolution images up, when I do my written reviews over in the Art Gear Guide, which there will be a link for down below for the written review of this beautiful German precision pencil, um, they will have full resolution images over there as well. Because I sometimes, I like to make sure that when people are looking at these reviews of mine, that they are getting every angle of the product in the highest resolution that they can, so that they can see everything uh, about the product. So if you go across to the Art Gear Guide, you're always still going to get those high resolution, those high definition images of the product. Um, and I think that's about it, guys. Thanks so much for joining me. And um, if you want to follow me on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram, the links for that will be down below. Or if you just go across to the Art Gear Guide, there will be links for all the other social networking sites that I am on. Uh, if you want to follow me for updates and that type of thing, by all means, go across there and you can do so. Thanks very much, guys. Look forward to seeing you again next time. Bye.